In this video, I'd like to discuss the principles of effective informative speaking. What do we mean by informative speaking? Well, when we speak to inform, our goal is to educate or enlighten the audience. So we're just sharing information. We're sort of acting as a teacher, in a sense, if you will. So what are the qualities of effective informative speakers? Well, first of all, they are objective. They, they speak in facts and, and objective material, not in subjective opinions and, and those types of things. They're also credible. Any kind of speaker needs to be incredible, but if you expect the audience to just accept information coming from you, you need to really be credible and, and be able to convey credibility. You also need to be knowledgeable. As a speaker, you need to convey to the audience that you know what you're talking about and that you have a grasp on this information. You need to speak on relevant topics. That's the other quality of an effective, informative speaker. Speak on topics that people are interested in, that are going to draw them in, and that may present new information and novel information to them. So what are some tips for effective informative speaking? First of all, be sure you can generate and maintain interest. You know, speaking informatively is not always the most interesting thing in the world, but you need to find ways to pull the audience in, generate that interest, and, and, and really keep them with you. You do that by sharing information with intensity. You don't want to be too bland in the information you're sharing. You want to share information that pops and, and share things that are going to be uh, of particular interest to the audience. We do that through novelty, sharing information that's new to the audience. And we do that through contrast, by contrasting what they may think they know with what actually is, and, and maybe giving them some surprises in that way. We do that through activity, by involving the audience and keeping them actively engaged in that speech. And maybe through humor, we can do that by injecting a little bit of humor into the speech. And finally, we do that through visual aids. Uh, as you can see, this is a fine visual aid, is it not? Uh, so we have uh, a visual aid that, that pulls the audience in and helps keep them interested in not only the speech, but the topic as well. So Anton Chekhov, the Russian playwright and, and story short, or short story writer, said, Don't tell me the moon is shining. Show me the glint of light on broken glass. Can you see the difference in the way that is phrased? I'm just saying the moon is shining as opposed to the glint of light on broken glass, painting a picture with words, really pulling the audience in and making it interesting for them. Some other tips for informative speaking, it's always helpful to tell a story. We are narrative creatures as humans, and so people like to hear stories, they like to be involved in stories, so you can tell a story to keep it interesting for them. You can be creative. Think outside the box a little bit, which is kind of a cliche and ironic in that it's not creative in itself, but you can think outside that box. You can give a new way to present that information. You can share uh, new examples, uh, new information with them, and just, again, keep it novel. You need to organize your speech really well for informative speaking so that the audience can follow along easily and that the information flows really well. You can use vivid, concrete language. Get away from that abstract language. Put a picture in the audience's mind. Use very clear, concrete language. Uh, at the same time, though, use simple language. Don't speak above the audience. You know, Don't make them work too hard to get that. They don't have the written word in front of them, so they're going to need to be able to to draw clear meanings and concrete meanings from the language that you use just from hearing it. So use simple language that they can they can hang on to really effectively right away. And then use analogies. Find ways to compare these things for the audience and, and find uh, similar things in their world that you can use to, to draw from examples. Additional tips. Use repetition. You know, people, like, you know, people respond better when you use repetition. Uh, another helpful tip is to use repetition. <laughs> see how we did that? So, no. You can adapt to feedback. You can see what the audience is doing, see how they're responding, and make adjustments accordingly. Especially if you're delivering this extemporaneously, then you have the opportunity to make adjustments and really find ways to make it more interesting for the audience, even as you're, as you're in the middle of the speech. You can appeal to different learners. There are different learning styles, and, and people need to hear the information and access that information differently. Uh, some people are visual learners, so they may need more, more graphics, more visual aids. Some people are oral learners, so they, they learn from hearing, so they really need that, that clear, concrete language that they can really um, grasp right away the meaning of what you're trying to say and, and see how it all fits together. Other people are read-write learners, so maybe have them do some exercises where they're writing some things down, and, and be sure you have plenty of space in your presentation for them to take notes and and that kind of thing. And other people are kinesthetic learners. They need to be up, they need to be doing, they need to be moving around, and so you need to find ways to incorporate all of these different learning styles to appeal to the different people in your audience and as much as possible. 
If you have questions about informative speaking, uh, other uh, items related to informative speaking, um, certainly this is not a comprehensive review of informative speaking, just some tips to help you be more effective in your efforts to uh, speak to inform. But if you have questions or need more information, please feel free to email me. I'm always accessible via email. And happy communicating.